Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today, we're going to talk about Totoado and his new three year contract with Borussia Dortmund. Apparently, he has been agreed already. Uh, putting pen to paper is what is left. The details of the agreement and everything in between we'll look at today. We're also going to talk about uh, our guest in Okra. He has apologized for his unfortunate incident that led to him uh, being sent off in the MTN. FA Cup final versus Accra Hatsupo. Okay, his uh, removal from the game for that red card, rightly so, uh, cost his team probably a chance to win it. He has apologized. We we'll read the letter he has submitted. We're also going to talk about Thomas Tepate, who it seems Arsenal fans have lost confidence in him. We'll look at the reason why. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. So before we begin, this trivia here. Ahead of the World Cup, uh, which of Ghana's past three World Cup participants were the best for you? 2006 squad, as you can see here, 2010 or 2014, which was your best Black Stars team to go into the World Cup? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. So, as we're preparing to head into the Qatar 2022, hopefully we can make it there, but we need your support. As I posted last time, someone posted about accommodation ability to help us with accommodation in Qatar let me know in the comments and also support us through buying our merch links always in the description here let's get right into it and start off from the camp of black stars coach Otuado, uh, who was allowed by his team um, Dortmund uh, to help Ghana to qualify for the World Cup he did just that and uh, he has been rewarded here uh, with a new contract for Dortmund uh, after successfully getting Ghana to the World Cup, BVB clarifies the future of Otuado. The special coach takes care of the team's talent, but is also acting as a national team coach on an interim basis. The successful cooperation continues. BVB will extend the contract with Otuado this week by three more years until 2025. The contract actually would have expired this summer. It has been renewed, negotiated already, only the signature is pending. The 47-year-old professional played for BVB from 1999 to 2005, has been a special trainer at Dortmund for three years, and in the past, Otoado has successfully coached top talents, including Giovanni Reina, Jude Bellingham, and Yusufa Mokoko, among others, Jordan Sancho, Ellen Haaland, and were also under Otoado's wings. Born in Hamburg, Otto took over the newly created role as talents trainer at BVB on the 1st of July 2019. In winter 2020, after a dismissal of Lucien Favre, he also took over the job as assistant coach on an interim basis and six months later won the DFB Cup together with Eric Terzic and Sebastian Gebhardt. As an interim coach, Ado led the national team of Ghana to the World Cup, which he played for 15 international matches in the active career, most recently in the playoffs of the World Cup in there. So, Otto Ado will stay with Borussia Dortmund uh, for a further three years. Uh, 2025, the contract will be extended to He'll be playing around with the role of the Ghana Black Stars head coach. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I've already said that as we are getting results, as he's putting things in together, along with a collective technical team, we might not have any issues. Some have the reservations that Otoado should not be given the job full time. A Black Stars coach needs to have full focus on the team and finding out everything having to do with other players, uh, but uh, others will tell you he can always delegate those rules and everything. Ultimately, uh, we will only have a problem if Ghana's form or performances in games starts dipping drastically. As things stand, uh, not so much. The carrying cap not uh, capitulate from that point. We won the next game on penalties, albeit we still have a goal scoring problem. Uh, so uh, the national team coach will stay with Dortmund for a further three years. His contract would have expired this summer. Your thoughts in the comments box on it. My next story has to do uh, with uh, Augustin Okra. Yeah, he has issued an apology, a fortunate incident that happened 
during the game versus Accra Hearts. So, folk, Okra was red carded, and that cost his team the game versus Accra Hearts. Of folk, the poor, the phobians, the the emerged triumphant. And Augustine Okra in this letter says he's apologizing and tender an unconditional apology for the unethical behavior that caused my early exit from the FA Cup final between Hearts of Oak and Bechen United at the Babayara Sports Stadium on Sunday. I am extremely sorry and remorseful for the harm this has caused, including hurting sentiments. I am ashamed of myself uh, for having uh, carved such a character. Uh, Mr. Kingsley Usu, I chow the patrons, the management, my indefatigable teammates, the entire fans, hunters, the friends of Bechem United, the good people of our half region, and the entire sporting fraternity, please forgive me for this one last time. I'm sorry for my behavior and apologize from the core of my heart. Yours sincerely, Augustine Okra. I think it's just right, Okra. There, he was great in that final. Unfortunately, when he went off, that was the nadir for his club side. Bechem United, they lost and they lost the title. Hearts of Oak will represent us in the CAF Confederations Cup away to that. So that is it there on that front. I'll end with some news on Thomas Day Party. Who has no fans, according to reports and AFTV in particular, are losing confidence in him. He says we still cannot rely on him or trust him as he will be injured again after a few games, he said. A fan said, we need a better and more reliable option. While Chris Shah wrote, and one minute into preseason training, this professional hospital patient will get injured again and be out for six months. And you remember, uh, Thomas Partey got injured right after the international break with Ghana, where he qualified as the World Cup. And since that time, that was in March, early April, he did not play for the Ghana until the end of the season, probably costing them a top four play. So into that, Ghana's fans are not going to rely on him they feel they need a backup to him in case something like that happens again as it did in the last season what do you think about it i think it's laudable every player needs a backup as to whether thomas Partey is brittle and malleable uh, that's another matter altogether but he does get injured a lot it did not really happen when he was at atletico madrid it started happening when he got to arsenal i think he would want to check exactly what the difference is now and why that is currently happening. And so that has been it for today. Talking about Thomas Partey, Arsenal fans losing confidence in him. Also talking about Otuada's new contract extension with Borussia Dortmund and Augustine Okra's apology uh, to fans of Beijing United. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the week.